Hello, I am Regina Rüffler, member of the Eduard Job Foundation and lecturer at the University of Hamburg in Germany. Welcome to our today's demonstration. But, as the title indicates, we first need a duck with a certain intuitive feel for thermodynamics. Perhaps this one? Very cute, but unfortunately not the right one. Then this one perhaps? Not bad, because we already have two things we need for our experiment. A duck and water. However, not completely right. But ah, there it is. The right one. Our star. Clear the stage for our star. First, we have to wash the head of our star a little bit. And then the show can begin. But let us have a closer look at the process. Are you now perhaps curious to know how this fascinating toy works? Then come with us to the mysterious world of thermodynamics. The duck's vitreous body is partly filled with a highly volatile liquid, which is in equilibrium with its vapor. For starting the experiment, the felt of the duck's head is wetted. The chemical potential of liquid water is higher than that of water vapor diluted in the air. In consequence, evaporation occurs spontaneously. The flow of water molecules from the felt into the air is coupled with an entropy flow. Therefore, the duck's head cools down. In consequence, some of the vapor of the internal liquid condenses. The reduced pressure forces the liquid to rise up in the tube and finally the duck tilts forward. But how does the duck come back to its starting position? Have a look at the rump. The lower end of the tube comes out of contact with the liquid surface. Some vapor passes from the body to the head and part of the liquid drains back into the body. Can you imagine what happens? If a bell jar is placed over the duck and the beaker with water, after a short while the duck becomes very tired and finally stands still. The atmosphere in the bell jar is now saturated with water vapor. The chemical potentials of liquid water and water vapor are equal, meaning equilibrium is established. Removing the bell jar brings the duck back to life. By means of an appropriate equipment, the movement of the duck can be utilized to do work. That means the duck is a kind of chemical engine comparable to a thermal engine. After hard work, Every bird has the right to relax at the beach and dance in the sun. Do you have any idea how the duck can work in the light without water? 
We give you enough time to think about it because we now have to say goodbye. Hello again. We hope you like our Duckish performance. Goodbye and see you in Waterloo.